This hasn't been a normal election campaign in the United Kingdom, and Monday night's election debate wasn't a normal one either. British Prime Minister Theresa May and Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn didn't face off against each other with May refusing a traditional head-to-head -head battle. Instead, they faced questions from presenters and a live audience. One week after the worst terrorist attack to hit the UK in over a decade, policing was high on the agenda. And May, previously the Interior Minister, was pushed on cuts to the forces. Armed officers were nearly 7,000 in March 2010, and now... We've, uh, well, we've, we're currently having an uplift in the number of armed officers. We agreed that not just the normal armed officers should be increased, but actually the counter-terrorism specialist officers were, as well. But they were cut over six years, and you've had to put them back... At... Meanwhile, Corbyn defended an earlier speech that linked British action abroad with the events in the UK. My point was that we have to have a foreign policy around the world that doesn't leave large areas without any effective government, such as in Libya at the present time, which can become a breeding ground of a place of enormous danger to all of us. Brexit, another long-standing area of contention, with the pair at odds over securing a deal with the EU before Britain leaves the bloc. Would you leave Europe without a deal? We will make sure there's a deal. We will be there to negotiate the right deal, but what I have said is no deal is better than a bad deal. May has seen her poll lead shrink in recent days, but she's still expected a comfortable win on June the 8th.